ladies. Welcome to another Journey with Tiffany video. <laughs> Why do I have to think about that? I do know my name, you know. But anyways, <laughs> welcome back to another kind of a hygiene-ish answer question video. So on one of my last hygiene videos, I had somebody ask me a question about, can you do a video about like what essentials to keep in your purse? And I was like, you know what? That is a good one. So here we are today. That's what we're about to get ready to do. What are the things that you normally have in your purse versus things you might not have thought about keeping in your purse? I'm kind of old school. And so I have some things in my purse that always make me feel safe and prepared and I want to pass it on to you so that maybe you can do it and if you have daughters teach your daughters to do it as well because I dang sure teach mine all right let's go okay ladies first we'll just get the regular stuff out of the way you have your purse and you're like okay what do I normally have in it well of course you always have your wallet with your credit cards I always keep a lotion of some kind, usually a Bath and Body Works kind of lotion because they're the most moisturizing kind of lotions. I always have this with me. This is actually a um, pen holder. You can also put makeup in there if you want to, but I put pens because I don't like touching other people's grubby little pens, especially after COVID. We don't, we don't do pen touching. We don't share pens. If you do, honey, that's okay. It's your prerogative. <laughs> But I don't like touching other people's pens because I've seen too many nasty things. So, and then I have my typical little clutch thingy. You can put whatever you want in these kind of things. I have my business cards in here, but you can put your credit cards, your business cards, whatever you want to put in there. And then I have one of these and it has all of my pills inside. So if you saw one of my vlogmases, you probably already saw this stuff already. So I keep this in there. Very typical stuff. I usually have a hair scrunchie, any kind of medication that I need to take. You got your, you know, your bubble gum, honey. You gotta keep some fresh breath, you know, and then lip glosses, things of that sort. So I always have like several of my favorite lip glosses. And then interestingly, I do keep a fan because I get hot. And so I like to be able to fan myself. So even if you hot, I'm not. <laughs> So anyways, I do keep a fan in my purse at all times. Yeah. So, okay, let's get to what we came here for. And that is what are the essentials that we need to have in our bag at all times? These are things, ladies, that I keep in my bag. And it when I worked somewhere else, I'm in private practice now, so I work from home. But when I worked with a group practice, I had a bag at work, a bag in my purse, Honey, it was bag galore, okay? I had a whole setup in my desk. I always had this stuff everywhere because what I'm not going to do is be caught slipping and be uncomfortable. I'll be going, hey, do you have a tampon? No, ma'am. I already got it. If anything, what would happen is people at my jobs would come knocking on the door. Tiffany, do you have? Because they knew I always had everything. So let's talk about what you need. So the first thing I want to talk about is where you're going to put these things. So normally you have, sorry, going to get out of view here. Your purse will have either one of those like little side pouches things, or you'll have like some kind of like inner like zipper part or something like that, that usually zips or snaps. So you have those areas and usually for our purses, that's where I will keep my essentials in my purse or you can go and buy you a little bag. So you have this kind of bag here, super cheap. Guys, you can find these kind of bags anywhere. I think I got this one off of Amazon and it's kind of a quilted look so you can wash it if you need to. And then you have like, and y'all this is dirty cause she is old, but I found her so I can show y'all, show it to y'all. <laughs> but like one of these kind of pouches where it is wipeable on the outside. You open it up and it has actual pouches. This looks more like what it is versus something like this. You don't know what this is. So I do like bags like this versus this because when I had this and I'm going to the bathroom, you kind of might see what's in there, right? But if I have this, you might think I'm just going to reapply my makeup. You don't know what's in here because you can't see it, right? So I do prefer this or just my purse over this kind of a bag. But if you're looking for your traditional type pay bag, then this will work, especially for your desk. You wanna just keep things in your desk and you wanna keep it nice, organized, and together, these work great. I do not remember where I got this bag, but I'm sure you could probably find one anywhere. So there's that. Okay, let's talk about what to put 
in the bags. I also have some blotting papers, which you can get from anywhere, and they are the little, little papers that you can take and blot your face, the oil on your face um, to keep from looking oily. I am a very oily girl, and so I always have these. I always have some kind of little fingernail file because I cannot stand when my nails get jagged. And then, if you like 35 plus, baby, you might need some tweezers. Don't even ask me why. If you are over 35, raise your hand. If you are, you might know why I carry tweezers in my purse, but if you're not, don't worry about it. You will get there. <laughs> Moving on. Quick 2.5, I'm not even going to hold you. Let's go on and whip through this stuff so you know what to go out and get. Go to your local Target, Walmart, Amazon, wherever, and find you some cute bags because you need to start there. I will link some down below that I have picked up, and or you can just go find you one. The Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, honey, there are bags everywhere, okay? Big lots, anywhere. All right, what you're going to need is, first of all, we ain't about to fan these out so y'all can see them. <laughs> You ain't about to look at no balloons, but <laughs> a pair of underwear. You're going to need a pair of fresh, clean underwear. Now, I keep these because they're ones that I'm like, okay, I'm not going to miss these, right? These are some Victoria's Secrets, and they're not my favorite, but they're a pair, right? If I can, I always opt to choose like a darker pair, like a black pair, burgundy, something like that. But hey any pair will do when you're in a crunch now why do we have these because what if your cycle starts and you're at work at a party at an outing anywhere and you mess up your clothes because you didn't even know it was coming or you forgot you didn't have your symptoms whatever always have a pair of underwear if you're a heavy bleeder you definitely will need an extra pair because you just don't want to be embarrassed been there done that guys learned my lesson a long long time ago and then what if you just get sweaty and just want to freshen up and feel fresh you have a pair of underwear with you so i always keep a fresh pair of underwear with me i always have panty liners several of them as you can see there are several here i always 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 have panty liners with me because you first of all if you don't know if your cycle's coming and you start feeling a little something you can run to the bathroom throw one of them on and then you feel a little bit safer especially if you have the kind of job where you can't just get up and go to the bathroom when you feel like it or you know you, you have to kind of schedule in then you feel a little bit safer you know not having anything on at all or maybe you ran out of the house and oh my god i forgot and i know it's coming you'll have these with you also if you don't have a big pad which i always keep a very big pad with me if you don't have this at least you got this okay so i always keep both of these in there so so far we have our underwear some panty liners and then a regular pad i usually have at least two with me again this is precaution you never know when it's going to start guys so we've got those three so far next i'm going to always have some kind of sanitation wipe now you don't have to have this brand i will throw up another brand that i also use and i use that one even more so summer's eve sensitive uh sensitive wipes but any kind of feminine wipe you want to have at least a couple of these in there if you're going to the restroom, you don't want to have to be out there trying to wet up some paper towel in the bathroom, child. You want to be able to stay in the bathroom <laughs> and clean yourself up and feel fresh. And so gra if, grab you a couple of these. Pay attention if your body's sensitive or not so you don't get a fragrance kind that might irritate you. You can get the sensitive kind or the no scent kind, the unscented. So have a couple of these in your purse at all times. I always also keep some wet ones with me. You never know when you're going to go to the bathroom and they don't have no soap. No paper towels, no soap, no nothing. It just drives me insane. So I also have always some wet ones with me at all times. Number one, I keep these with me for two reasons. One for when I go to restaurants, baby, we handing these out like popcorn. Okay, you get one, you get one. I feel like Oprah, who at the table? You, 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 and you. Everybody's getting one. <laughs> So I keep these for purposes of eating on the go, eating at restaurants, and also for if you go somewhere and they don't have soap, I do not feel clean without having something to clean my hands. So I keep these with me as well. And then you have your basic medications. And so I'll either have a baggie like this with Tylenol in it. I really don't even hate Tylenol, guys. Generally, I take ibuprofen. So because that it, ibuprofen, Midol, Advil, they're all the same, right? Even some Dollar Tree ibuprofen still works. 
keeping that on you so that if you start cramping or pampering, whatever you use, keep it on you. Keep it in a bottle, put it in a baggie. You can buy these individual little packets like this of whatever kind of medication you want to use. Keeping that stuff on you so you don't have to go around like hurting and asking other people for medication. And then they're like, wow, what's wrong? None of your business. But if you have this, you don't have to go around asking for it. You can feel that pain and immediately triage it and take something. So I keep medications. As a matter of fact, I also have my other little bag here if you can see it. It has everything in there, guys. It has Imodium. I have Lactaid. I have Gas X. I keep a little bit of everything in these. These little baggies are your classic like Hobby Lobby craft bags that I buy but my daughter does a lot of crafts and I do too so we always have different sizes of these laying around instead of carrying the whole bottle I will just opt to put some in one of the little baggies and stick them in my purse and they lay flat they don't take up any room so I love these they come like pack of 25 50 and 100 so and you can even get them smaller sizes so I always have every kind you ain't gonna catch me out there slipping and not have medications that I need I usually have every kind of medicine I might think I might need while I'm out so that I don't have to feel uncomfortable or be hurting while I'm somewhere so Advil whatever medicine you take and then I always have this is not necessary but I do always have a thing full of medication whether I'm traveling or just going to work then I always carry one of these you're probably like what is that Tiffany well it is a little bitty bag what does it look like to you it probably either a diaper bag or a poop bag <laughs> Well, this is super cheap, y'all, and super old. Look how old it is. It is crusty, okay? She is old, old, because I've had them a long time. But it's the uh, diaper disposable bags. So what do you think we use these for? If you guessed soiled underwear, you're right. Let's say you do accidentally mess up your underwear while you're at work. So at some point in your life, I don't care where you've been, somebody has had this happen. I like to be able to have somewhere to put them and not have to like stuff them in my bag. So I use these baby poop bags and you can also use the dog poop bags. And I always keep one folded up very nice and neat so that you don't even know what it is in my little to go bag. And if something happened, I could take them off, put them in here push all the air out, roll them up, and stick them wherever I'm gonna stick them until I get home. And then clean myself up and do what I do. So these are very essential. You can get these at like the Dollar Tree because that's exactly where I got these. If you have a, <laughs> if you got a dog tail, you and the dog can share the bags. So all you need is one at a time. So I always keep one in there and it does what it needs to do. I always have different kinds of tampons with me. So I'll have a very thin one and then I'll have a like heavy duty one. Sometimes, most of the time, I have at least two of the heavy duty ones because what if I'm at work? What if I'm out and I don't want to have just one, I need another one, right? And so I usually have a couple of different size tampons with me. And then last but not least, well, not last because I have one other thing, but I always have, what, what do you think it is? <laughs> you are like, what is that? It is actually a handkerchief, guys. A weird thing to have in your purse, but you just never know when you're going to need it. And some days we have rough days and hard days at work. Sometimes our partners and spouses make us mad before we go into work or while we're at work. Sometimes our kids do something to disappoint us that we find out about. Sometimes you're just having an off day or a rough day. And I always keep a, a handkerchief with me. One time, quick 2.5 story time. I went somewhere and was crying and was using tissue because people were giving me tissues. When I got done, I'm thinking I'm straight and I go outside and I remember my sister being like, why you got all that tissue all over your face? Girl, I was so embarrassed. Didn't even know. <laughs> I thought I was looking good still, looking straight because, you know, I was trying to do the little cute pat pat. Maybe I had tissue all over my face and didn't even know it. So from then on, I'll always carry some kind of handkerchief with me for the just in case I need it. So that is always in my purse. Last but not least, once you clean yourself all up, you're gonna need to smell good. I like not to mask, but I just wanna smell good. I wanna smell good, I wanna feel good, and I wanna feel clean and like I smell good. I wanna feel like I smell before I left the house, right? So I always have some kind of 
perfume with me. Now these are travel size perfumes and that is what I like to carry with me instead of my full bottles because it makes my purse very heavy. Um, why I have three is because I want to show you the difference. This has an actual spray top to it, if you can see it, right? Versus this one is a roller roll, right? This one you can spray all over and where you want to put it and this one you can't. So I like to make sure that my perfumes that I have actually have spray tops to them so that I can kind of spray and then of course spray, you know, down there where you just cleaned up it and, and then you just, you feel good, you feel fresh. You're leaving your stall smelling, smelling good behind you. It just makes me feel good and it makes me feel better. Now I carry these in my purse at all times, no matter what, depending on which perfume I'm wearing, I always carry the matching one, but I do tend to keep something and I had a Bath and Body Works one. You know how you can go to Bath and Body and buy those like little bitty trial size ones. I will often keep that in my desk, car, whatever for that same purpose. And then these always, one of these will stay in my purse. But that way you always have something to kind of splash yourself with once you've cleaned yourself all up and then you feel confident, you feel clean, you feel ready to go again. And again, we're leaving the stall behind us smelling yummy and delicious. So just keep that in mind. Those are super easy to get. You can often get them for free if you're signed up with their rewards program and you get their emails or coupons. So keep that in mind because you can go pick those out for free versus these are gonna cost you sometimes a pretty penny because they are real perfumes. So. But these are definitely an option as well. Recap, we have our wipes, we have our bag, we have our underwear, we have some panty liners, we have some pads, usually two, pain medication, pain management, we have wet wipes in case we need to wipe our hands. We have different size tampons so we don't get caught slipping. And we have which one we need. And we have something to make us smell good. And then we have a handkerchief in case we get emotional and need it. And then of course you have your bags that you're going to put it in, right? That's all you need. That and your confidence. That's all you need. Okay, ladies, girls, beauties, honeys, let's talk about it. That's it. That is all you need. That is what I carry with me on a daily. And when I tell you, if I could show you the inside of my little uh, car, little middle thing, there's a bag in there too. When I was at work, had a bag, had a whole drawer with a bag in it, organized with all my stuff. In my purse, there's always all of my stuff. It's everywhere. I'm never going to get caught slipping. If I do, it's because I'm out of something, not because I don't have it or I haven't planned for it. So you future plan and then you don't have to worry about getting caught and feeling uncomfortable, being told, no, you can't go home because you can't go home till lunch and you're sitting there like feeling uncomfortable or not feeling fresh or whatever the case may be. Okay. I want you to feel good, confident and fresh at all times and prepared. So, and also if you have daughters, teach them the same thing. It's school time. School's getting ready to start. The one thing I always had my daughter do was pack her little carry bag with her full of all the things that she might possibly need. Why? One, I don't get that call from, from school at work to, Hey, she needs this. Can you bring her this or coming home and she's been embarrassed for whatever reason. And two, they're able to take care of themselves and learn early on how to be prepared and stay prepared and take care of themselves. So please pass it on to your nieces, your daughters, your goddaughters, whoever, as you're learning yourself, maybe even pick them up a little bag as you pick yourself up one, right? And teach them how to stay prepared. So that is it for now. All right, lady. I hope you learned something today. I hope there's something you can take from here. You can drop down at the bottom in the description, in the description. You can drop down in the comment section if there is something that you carry that I do not, that you want other ladies to know about or you just want to tell me. I know back in the day, honey, I used to have me some like old talcum powder, but we don't do talcum. <laughs> 
<laughs> I we don't do talcum powder anymore. I used to have me that feminine spray, but that stuff will burn off your bits. And so I don't use feminine spray anymore. But you know, like tell me what are some things that you carry with you if you do happen to do the same thing? Or did you not even think about this stuff and you learned something new today? I'd love to hear it. I love hearing from my people. I hope the young lady that asked about this gets to see this. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Take care for now. And I hope that your bag is everything that you need it to be. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.